Hey everyone, my name is Greg and I'm the founder of README. And this is Albert. Today, we're excited to show you what I'm building and how we'll change the way that your team approaches API documentation. Like many of you, when I learned how to program, I did it by reading books like these. As documentation went from analog to digital though, there wasn't much innovation. We mostly just moved these chapters, pages, and paragraphs online. But documentation should know where every single developer is in their journey. That means who they are, what they're trying to do, and where they're getting stuck. I found README 
because I believe that documentation should be more than just static paragraphs of text that are thrown over the wall and forgotten. It should be the UI, UX for your API. Great documentation is not about overloading developers with information. Instead, it guides them to do hundreds with ease. <coughs> over the past 10 years, reading has changed how people think about documentation, but there's still a lot more we can do. In the last year, we've been working hard at reimagining, reinventing, and refactoring every single part of README. Some parts of what we've done are small improvements that we think you'll love. But for other parts of the product, we've started completely from scratch and redesigned the experience. I'm excited to show you everything we're launching today. First, I'm going to introduce you to Ashley and Monza, who are going to walk you through our new editing experience. Hey, everyone. I'm Ashley. And I'm Monza. How are you doing today, Monza? Doing really well. Really excited to talk about some new features today. Yeah, I'm so excited to show you the new experience. And to show you all, too. We've redesigned README from the ground up making it faster, more intuitive, and more powerful. So, Monza, you're a tech writer, mm -hmm. so you're familiar with the README experience. Absolutely. And previously, you would edit your docs from your project dashboard, and then you'd have to switch into the hub to see the changes that you just made. Mm -hmm. This was pretty challenging, because it meant switching back and forth between tabs to track your changes as you made them. Well, now, with the new UI, all documentation, whether it's creating a doc, editing, or publishing, happens directly in the hub. Have you ever noticed a typo on your docs and you had to log into the editor, figure out the right page just to fix it? Yeah. Exactly. Well, now you can make quick edits on the fly. You'll be able to toggle between view and edit mode to see exactly how changes look for your customers before they go live. You'll notice right away how sleek the new interface is. It's designed to feel natural for anyone writing docs, whether you're an engineer or a tech writer like you. Yeah, I've been lucky enough to use it for a couple months now, and a little while told me that you can also use MDX in the editor. Can you tell me what that experience looks like? So we made the technical decision to migrate our entire editor from Markdown to MDX. So what exactly does this mean, and how does it help you write better docs? Well, MDX combines the simplicity of Markdown with the power of JSX, so you can integrate React components and write inline custom code blocks to create interactive documentation. We also took MDX for a spin ourselves and built new components that our customers had been asking for. If you want something even more custom, you can build your own MDX components. The possibilities are endless. Now your documentation will be engaging and dynamic and ultimately useful for your developers. That sounds really exciting. I can't wait for customers to start using our MDX powered editor and see the amazing components they'll build. In all my years as a tech writer, even before joining README, one of the biggest problems was pushing production changes and not quite knowing how they look to the customers. Being able to tweak docs and know how the changes will look before they go live makes it way easier for writers and engineers to contribute together. Yeah, that's exactly what we've heard from customers too. If you want to learn more about the editor or MDX, we've got a hands-on workshop, so I encourage you to sign up. It's important that documentation has a human or owl touch, but there's also a lot we can generate automatically, such as code languages in 20 plus languages. We do this powered by open API specs, JSON or YAML files that describe every aspect of your API. But these can be very hard to write. Unless you're using a tool that generates them, you often suck editing YAML or JSON. As APIs have become more complex, so have the open API specs. So Ashley's going to talk about how we've updated our API designer to better fit your API workflows. Thanks, Greg. So going back again to the previous workflow, our API designer had a limitation you had to choose between uploading an open API file or building your API definition with our manual editor. But once you chose one, you were locked in. So even if there was only one feature you needed, but our manual editor didn't support it, you had to completely rebuild your API definition. So again, when we thought about rebuilding README from the ground up, we knew we could make the experience better by fully integrating open API. Now you can upload an OAS file and edit it directly in the interface. Or you can also start by creating an API definition in our manual editor. And we'll actually create the OAS file for you. And you can then edit that file in a bidirectional sync setup. We'll get into that next. When I started README, something we focused on was building a documentation platform that was open and welcoming to everyone, regardless of their technical background. At the time, documentation was difficult to update. If you wanted to edit just a simple typo, you had to file a ticket, and only someone with access to the repo could fix it. But today's API teams are so much more cross-functional, which means building a workflow that works for everyone. So for example, 
Some of you might prefer the flexible markdown error that Ashley showed. For others, documentation is best when it's closer to the code. And for us, it's important that you don't have to choose. Everyone on your team can write where they want to write. Over the past year, we've refactored README with a Git-first mentality. Make a change inside README, it'll write directly to a Git repo, which means you have history, merging, branching, and all that inside your editing experience. The best folks to talk about this workflow are Monsa and Dom. Dom's an engineer who's been working at README since the beginning. And Monsa, who you've already met, has been using README for years. He was a customer long before he was a coworker. While in different roles, they work together on docs and can walk you through how to keep everything up to date by using bidirectional sync between README and GitHub. Hey, Dom. It's nice to see you, man. Hey, Monsa. You too. Really, really happy to join you. So I've worked with a lot of different organizations where there's a mix of engineers, technical writers, and product managers all working on documentation. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can be a little tough for folks to work together, especially when some prefer GitHub and others prefer a user interface like README. Yep. So how is README making it easier for teams to manage this workflow? Yeah, I mean, this, this isn't the first time we've heard this feedback. One of the biggest problems we hear from API creators is keeping their APIs and their docs totally in sync. Mm -hmm. Developers keep telling us they wanted their API documentation in Git, so it could be written and automated the same way code was. But other teammates, like yourself, might want to work in Ruby's interface. Yeah, I can definitely understand that challenge. So then what's our solution for improving team collaboration and ensuring that API docs are always synced and up to date? So starting this week, all docs hosted on README are now going to be backed by Git. Git-powered docs have more granular page history, better version control, and bidirectional syncing between README and Git tools like GitHub and GitLab. <laughs> nice. So you don't have to choose between working in README or GitHub? Nope. I love that teams no longer have to make that choice. They can have it both ways. I've been in plenty of situations where API engineers I collaborate with work only in GitHub. Mm -hmm. So if an engineer makes a change in, let's say, GitHub, and I make a change in the README UI, can you explain how that works? So if you connect a GitHub repo to your README project, changes to the docs that are made in GitHub will be reflected straight away in README and vice versa. Whether you make updates in your code base directly or in README's editor, changes will sync seamlessly between both. You will no longer have to worry about version drift or manual updates. Everything just stays in sync automatically, keeping your docs as up to date as your APIs. Having direct programmatic access to all of your content through a flexible workflow will make it easier to make changes at scale and ensure that no matter where the changes happen, your doctor is accurate. Yeah, that sounds like a really cool feature. It's really nice to see bidirectional sync between README's editor and GitHub. Bidirectional sync and the ability to work in GitHub or GitLab will truly connect APIs in their corresponding documentation. Definitely. We're hoping to make that collaboration and workflow effortless. If you want to see how to get your project set up for bidirectional syncing, make sure to come to the breakout session right after today's main event. We believe documentation is important, but we don't think it has to be limited to the browser. We want to be wherever your users are. Two weeks ago was GitHub Universe, and we partnered with GitHub to create a Copilot extensions, so your users can interact with your doc right from VS Code or whatever code editor they use. Anna and Justina are going to show how it works. So at README, we're all about making APIs easier for developers to use. But you know, when you're learning a new API, you're typically asking a coworker, hunting down code examples, or scrolling through complicated documentation. Yeah, I always feel really bad bringing my coworkers to show me about new APIs because they're busy with their own high priority items. Then, when I start looking for code samples, they're never really in the programming language that I prefer. So, as an API creator with docs and README and users all over the world, how can I make it easier for developers to use my API, Anand? Well, Justina, we've actually partnered with uh, GitHub and we can build Copilot extensions right from your existing docs. Copilot is an assistant that's built into your IDE, and our extensions make it really easy to make them smarter. We bring answers and even code suggestions right where devs do their work, in their coding editor. The extension can be used to write code that interacts with your API in any programming language, like Node.js or Rust, and various dialects, like Spanish or Hindi. This way, devs can get started with your API based on what they want to use it for versus trying to figure out arbitrary routes and paths. They can also get this information in a way that they understand in their native language. And you know what the best part is? <laughs> What's that? Is this works with your existing docs. You don't need to make any changes to get this to work. With README, you get this out of the box, plus hosting your documentation and developer hub. What? That's amazing. That means that I don't even need to leave my IDE while I'm coding. I can learn about APIs right within my editor. So, how do I get started? 
So right now, this feature is in beta, and we're getting some great feedback from our users. Just reach out to our team, and we'll be happy to get you set up. That was an awesome demo. I'm super excited to start trying this out for myself. We're a documentation company, and we want to make it easy to write paragraphs of text. But sometimes, it takes a lot more than that to make your developers successful. Behind every API call is a real person trying to do a real thing, and we want to give you the tools to help each of your developers. If your developer's first time using your API, they want a nice getting started guide for their API so they can make the first request successfully. But if it's their 100th time on the docs and the API is down and they're stressed out, they want it to be easy to understand what's wrong and how to fix it. Our goal is to help you, as the API creator, make things easier for your developers when things go wrong. Today, Adam and Justine are going to talk about my developers. It's the third part of our new experience, and it's a way to understand where each individual developer is in their journey and help them move forward. Hey, Adam. How's it going? Good. I'm excited to be here today to talk about my developers. Yeah. Let's tell them all about it. As a heads up, I'm going to be saying developers a lot. You definitely do. <laughs> my developers makes it super easy for API creators to see how users are interacting with their API and dig into the usage details. Plus, with our SDKs, you can get even deeper insights into your developers and follow them through their entire API journey, from the first API call to production. But this isn't just for readme customers. This is meant for developers using APIs, too. It provides essential details like API keys, server variables, and logs directly within the docs to get customers to 200 faster. You know what? It's probably easier for me to show you instead of explaining it. This is not just for developers, but also for end developers as well. In this scenario, I'll be paying the part of the end developer. If I'm interested in learning more about using an API, I can quickly grab my API keys within the docs to make my first authenticated request. I can even make a request and see how it works rather than just reading about it in the docs. When I make a request in the docs, I can actually see all the logs right in the developer hub and handle debugging on my own. But sometimes you hit a wall and you need a little bit of help from API creators. If that happens, I can just share a request ID and we can look at the same details and troubleshoot it together. Beautiful docs are just the beginning. The real goal is to give developers everything they need to make that first API call and ultimately to get their integration up and running in production. API creators can get a lot out of my developers too. You hope your developers are hitting 200s, but instead they could be receiving errors, which is really frustrating. Now I'll be playing the part of an API creator and show you how you can get an in-depth view of how users are interacting with my API. So here's the real magic. I can see detailed profiles of each developer's API usage and drill down into the logs and error rates. I can also create segments to track specific groups and filter requests by endpoint, method, and status. For example, if I wanted to see every time someone hits a 400 error, I can check the logs to understand the issue better and reach out to them to help. My Developers is really designed to be two halves of the same coin. The connection between API creators and their developers has never been so seamless or productive. That's what we were thinking when we were building out My Developers. There's a breakout session right after this, so make sure you join to learn if your docs are helping developers hit 200 with My Developers. All right, thank you, Adam and Justina. So from myself, Albert, and everyone here at README, thank you so much for tuning in to our announcement. We're hosting two breakout sessions on Zoom right after this. Our first is going to cover the new editing experience and bi-directional sync with GitHub. The second will be a session about My Developers. All you have to do is click one of the links and you can join the live Zoom. I want to thank the entire Remy team for making this happen. I'm so proud of what we built together, and we're super excited to start rolling it out to you. If you're an Yay. enterprise customer, <laughs> I know. <laughs> if you're an enterprise customer, we'll be reaching out to you about the migration. For everyone else, check your dashboard to get started. We can't wait for you to use a new Readme.